What's going on, Gun Family? Urban Gun Reviews, and today we're just going to be reviewing a uh, shooting that happened in a Chicago gas station. Now, we got a little build up before we get into it, but um, I just wanted to, you know, kind of give you a little uh, context uh, before everything uh, went down. But uh, none of these people are even involved in it. But uh, what happened was there was kind of an altercation outside. This is our victim that just came in in the black. This will be our uh, victim. Let me get him back on the screen. Uh, this guy right here, he will be our uh, victim in this situation. Now, um, what happened was him, his friend got into a confrontation uh, with a guy outside, this guy right here in the orange jacket, he got into a confrontation with him about trying to sell him weed. So the guy, first guy that came in, his mans was trying to sell this guy in the orange weed. The guy in the orange said he don't smoke weed and uh, he shouldn't have been approaching him like that. And he acted like he was trying to rob him or something like that. But uh, we'll get into that. Like I said, there's a little build up that uh, goes into it. But you see he comes in and he's trying to order and buy whatever he's trying to buy. And then young boy come up behind him. But uh, he wasn't really even on nothing. It was just about... Um, the confrontation that happened outside. So they don't even say anything to each other yet. That's going to come up pretty soon when uh, old boy in the orange goes to go grab a, a, a drink. He goes to grab a drink. Then he'll come back. And when he comes back, he says something to old boy in the NASA hoodie uh, about his man's outside trying to sell him weed. So here we go. We got the clerk behind the uh, desk. He couldn't buy his water yet because they were still ringing up old boy in the orange. So that's what held him up uh, right here. And then this just came with the video. Here we go. So right there, that's when he told him, tell your homie, you better watch who we talking to before you die. Then he mentioned like GD, which is Gangster Disciple, if you don't know that. And uh, he, he was saying like, you know, he shouldn't uh, ran up on me and asked me trying to sell me weed and whatnot. Hey, come on, we don't even smoke. Talking about the weed. Old boy in the black just said, you know, he's just trying to sell you weed and whatnot. So that's when old boy in the orange mentioned, oh, he's trying to rob me or something. But I don't think that that's what it was really about. I just think old boy in the orange just got mad because uh, he kept pursuing him, asking him if he wanted to, uh, to buy weed. So also the audio on this is a little off. So you'll hear the gunshots before you actually should hear the gunshots. So the audio on the video is not properly synced and you'll notice that in the video. If somebody's gonna rob you, they did it already. They have to go die already and it's stolen. They have to go. And then bang right here. You see there's a gun. He pulled out the gun saying, oh, they gonna rob me, they gonna die right here in this store and whatnot. But the guy in the orange is the one that mentioned the robbery. Old boy in the black hoodie <clears throat> said, only said if they was gonna rob you, they did it already. But that I don't think that was any intention. That was just him playing off of what old boy in the orange said. But you see old boy in the orange got the gun out. So he's already, you know, exposed his firearm in the middle of a convenience store, a gas station, uh, and doesn't have a pointed at him, but he has it out. Now he's making threats. You heard the gunshot that you shouldn't have heard yet. So now he's making threats telling him, oh, you want to die. You want to die. So he's threatening him personally with the firearm. And then we heard the gunshot, even though you didn't see the gunshot in the video yet. But then we'll play it again. Let's see it. And boom. So he looks like he, he just shoots the uh, guy in the black in the NASA hoodie. He shoots him one time. Then he shot like at the glass like twice. It seemed like uh, it seemed like two or three shots, I believe. Let's see if we can wind it a little bit. Back to oh, if somebody's gonna rob you, they're gonna did it already. Boom, the gun is out. 
Guns exposed. Talking about you want to die. And then you heard two shots before we even see it on the screen. And the one right there. So he might he might even shot old boy in the black twice. He might even shot him twice. But whatever he shot, he missed the one and it hit the glass and and shattered the glass in the store. And then he runs off. Then you'll hear more gunshots out here. There's the glass breaking. And there's more shots. So what I'm thinking is he ran into an old boy who was trying to sell him weed outside. And then they got into a gun uh, gunfight. And then I don't know the outcome of it or anything. But uh, this just shows you that the smallest things can turn into major things. You know what I mean? The smallest... Uh, not even confrontations, but it's just the smallest things could turn into major things. You don't know what people was on. You don't know what type of time anybody's on. This guy just came in the store to buy water, and he got conf confronted about his friend that was outside. It had nothing to do with him. He was just guilty by association. Old boy and the orange seen them together and was like, you know, well, tell your mans, but why are you telling me? Because if you got a problem with my mans, tell my mans. Don't tell me. Because I ain't no messenger. But you see how that little confrontation, that little uh, that little talk that they had, that little oh, tell your mans turned into a big thing after, you know, something that could have been avoided. So when you out there in the streets, learn how to avoid conflict because you don't know what type of time everybody on. So you can't just sit there and, and, and be, you know, going back and forth jaw jacking with somebody because you don't know what they on once old boy exposed the gun it should have been over at that point even though i don't believe the guy in a nasa hoodie was really even aggressive at all but the type of time that old boy in the, in the bad boy orange jacket was on you know what i mean he was just looking for a confrontation and you know unfortunately you know this guy i, I believe got shot i don't even know it looked like he shot him um and, you know, people had to be exposed to this type of violence, nonsense violence, for no reason. But it's Urban Gun Reviews. Uh, if you like this video, click the thumbs up. Stay blessed. Stay strapped. We'll be back on the next one.